Okay, hello everyone. Banyan's back as prom promises. Um, what we're gonna do uh, with in this video, we're gonna run some tests uh, to see on the HHO meter what kind of production we've got with this device uh, dep uh, on different uh, voltage and amperage. So as you can see, the device is still running from the last video, still running um, right now for uh, two hour uh, and 43 minutes um, on this position and non-stop if you add if you uh, addition all those numbers here all those uh, time uh, we'll say about uh, three hour and um, uh, almost four hour now uh, that device has been running non-stop <coughs> on different uh, amp and voltage so I'm gonna change this here don't worry, this is supposed to be a clock, but it's not adjust on the right time. Uh, I don't care. So this here is going to be my um, uh, count, count up uh, for uh, in second to see how many uh, liter per minute we do. Uh, I wish I had um, someone else to keep the camera up while I do it. But you guys will have to cross me that um, I push on the button on this button at the same time that I'm going to put this here to put the gas in my HHO meter. So let's do it. I'm going to try to do this with this finger here. Okay. So everything's set up. And then we lay... There we are. So this test is it's run on 12 volt, 0.3, 12.3 volt and 12.6 amp um, and as you can see right here our bubble uh, bottle is going up slowly but surely um, and two hours ago I did the same test three hours ago I did the same test and it was giving me 40 second 40 41 second for half of a liter and I believe it's gonna give me the same thing here today Oh, we've got some. We have to three second faster. Well, so 38 second for half of a liter on 12 volt, 12.3 volt, and 12.8 volt uh, amp, 12.7 a amp, and 12.3. So we're gonna disconnect that here. Let the ball going up down. I'm gonna change the position here. Uh, let's clear this those number. We're gonna change the position here to put it on engine start. The maximum power I can I get from this little thing here. It increase uh, drastically the production. It double it actually. I will show it to you. Uh, but the problem is my cell is heating up. So um, I'm gonna purchase eventually a pump, 12 volt pump that consume only one amp uh, to pump the water that I will install right here between the two towers uh, to pump the water through the system so um, the, 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 the water doesn't have time to heat up in the cell so uh, eventually the next, if, if you stay tuned um, you will see it happening so let's do it again so I'm ready to plug this th thing here and I'm ready to push the button so there we are Look at the, the 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 little window that I le left there. It's really interesting to see what's happening inside the cell, but uh, I have to be careful here. So 17, 18, and then oop. So I do well. I, I push a little bit too fast, maybe a second too fast on the button, but uh, 23 second. Let's say 24 second um, for half of a liter. It's pretty damn good, and it's what what I'm really amazed. Like I, as I said in the other video, it's the it's the stability of the system. Oh, let's put it let put it back there here so it doesn't heat up. It's the stability of the system, um, amp wise and volt wise, and uh, versus production. Man, three hours, almost four, four hours right now. Let's see, four hours running still the same numbers still the same production 
I lost about a inch and a half of water in my tank. Um, I'm really glad of my result. So my next uh, cell that I'm gonna build will be, uh, if I have, if I've got the budget for, and I, I, I believe I will, um, will be a 36 plate, which means three times this thing here should give me the double, uh, three times the gas output. I mean, sorry for the. So three times this device here, plug in Siri, should give me three times the output that we've got here. Um, consuming about the same amount of uh, volt and, and, and amp. So I'm really, really excited about this. So people, the future is in dry cell. So stay tuned for my next video. And um, this is Banyan. Oh, and then please leave me comment. Uh, I would like to know what you guys think about it. Uh, oh, and then I have a question for you. You see this guy here? It's an ACA amp meter. I, I, that's all I found uh, at Home Depot or uh, around here. Is anybody can tell me if, if this work with DC amp meter, um, as a DC amp meter? A guy at Home Depot told me that uh, amp amperage, it's amperage. Um, the meter doesn't make a difference. Well, I would like to have some confirmation. Maybe uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Z or uh, Mr. Smart Scarecrow can answer me on that. Um, and is this reliable? when it's just going through the, the clamp here to give the amperage. Uh, should I buy something else or whatever? And then another question for you guys, do you know where I can find a good pump, water pump, cheap, um, that will not consume too much amp? I found one for $26, $26.99 online. I think I will go with that. It consumes only one amp, but um, if any other suggestion, I would appreciate for cheaper stuff. Uh, as I said, I don't have much budget. So, okay, Banyan signing out and stay tuned. Bye-bye.